Even more stunning than the revelation in Manitoba's Court of Queen's Bench, the admission. Calgary lawyer John Carpe, head of a constitutional justice group challenging Manitoba's health orders, admitting he had the presiding judge, Manitoba's Chief Justice Glenn Joyle, followed in an attempt to find him violating health orders. In my view, this is incredibly serious. A cornerstone of our Canadian democracy is the independence of the judiciary. It all pivots around a high-profile constitutional challenge of Manitoba's public health orders, brought by the Justice Centre for Constitutional Freedoms on behalf of several Manitoba churches. Joyle says he was followed. His daughter encountered a stranger at his door. Carpe said the Justice Centre is passively surveilling public health officials and politicians to find them violating their own health orders. Acts he called legitimate and legal, but said was in poor judgment to extend to a judge. In a statement, Carpe added, In no way was this intended to influence or impact the Justice Centre's litigation efforts or any of our court cases. Conduct legal experts say is subject to professional sanction. If I'm pleased about one thing, it's that the legal community is going to be galvanized around this particular uh, set of facts. There are a lot of sanctions that the law society can look at if they choose to move forward with formal charges. Meanwhile, Manitoba's justice minister says Premier Brian Pallister has had, quote, similar experiences. The chief public health officer isn't sure he's been surveilled, but... I've certainly had a number of, of threats, um, um, you know, against me and my family. Observing what politicians are doing, um, I think, is one thing. This was crossing a line, um, sending a private investigator after a judge who is sitting on an active case that you are counsel on. Um, in my mind, there is no justification for this. Now, John Carpe did not respond to a request for an interview, but in a statement said no other judges have been surveilled and that this was his decision alone. Meanwhile, tonight, at least one Manitoba lawyer says that he will complain to have Carpe sanctioned. So, Cam, clearly we're talking about an ethics breach. Could this also be criminal? Possibly. The Winnipeg Police Service confirms it's investigating, but just won't say what it's investigating. But intimidating a justice official is an offence under the criminal code. And as for that constitutional challenge, Justice Joyle is making his decision now and says he'll have it in a few weeks. Adrian? All right, we'll be watching. Thank you for this. Cameron McIntosh in Winnipeg tonight.